Not anything remotely re resembling normal, but there's a couple kids on, I mean, there's a team on campus, so that's good. There's, um, there's stuff happening on the court, so that's good. Um, we have to do it in, in smaller groups, which, you know, has been good in the sense that we can teach a bunch of stuff, but it doesn't really give us opportunity for them to work together a lot. But starting this week, we're going to be able to make the group bigger. And hopefully by, you know, next week, we can have the whole team working out together. Mostly it's been uh, – just basic elementary skill work, you know, um, things that things that we may do in June, you know, uh, that's kind of how we're treating it. We're treating it like the season ended in, you know, in, in March or early April at the same time. And uh, they were going to be here a bunch of months before school ever started again. So it gives us a chance just to break things down. Um, you know, normally we wouldn't be with them in August. They would be home. So this is an opportunity because games are kind of down the road, way down the road probably. You know, so it's all breakdown stuff and it's all simple stuff. And just in, just in one week we could see some improvement because it's so easy what we're doing and so basic it's like we're at camp this is stuff they should learn in high school to be honest with you you know the, the the biggest challenge is uh i don't have a schedule so if somebody said like in the old days hey your first exhibition game is november 3rd all right so we know what we're dealing with now the challenge is, how do I put my team together in that period of time? But no one's able to give you a schedule. No one's able to tell you, this is when official practice is going to start. This is when your first exhibition game is going to be. This is when your first you know, non-conference game is going to be. This is when your first regular season game or conference game is going to be. So we don't know what we're dealing with. So... That's been the biggest challenge, I think. Uh, other than that, you know, I think everything else is – well, the, the, the challenge is also has been uh, – <laughs> one of the players was saying, uh, Coach, it's been so long since I've been, you know, on the court uh, organized, you know, in any kind of organized fashion. It, you think about it, it's, it's the first week of March. This March, March, April, May, June, July, five months. That's the longest probably they've ever gone without playing basketball. So the challenge is, is also um, for them physically. The challenge for our coaching staff is physical. Instead of working out with our whole team, we have three groups. So you go out there, group one. Then they leave, and then group two after wherever the break is, and then group three. Like having three kids. By the time group three comes along, I just kind of go, yo, guys, do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, patience is everything right now. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, you, you really can't have anything other than patience. You, you can't get upset about anything. You can't be in a hurry. <laughs> I mean, in a hurry to go where? In a hurry to do what? So we just take our time and, you know, again, like I said, it's, it's almost like I'm back teaching high school and I'm back running my basketball camp. And, you know, here's the drills that we're doing on day one and day two. And so in, in one sense, it's kind of refreshing.